Oh, didn't have to get me anything, guys. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's another weird video from Kevin Spacey. Yes, folks, he did it last Christmas, and now he's back with another video entitled KTWK. This video is the online Christmas present no one was asking for, and in this video we see Kevin Spacey sitting by a massive fireplace, dressed and talking as his character in House of Cards, and making some rather bizarre statements. As we walk into 2020, I want to cast my vote for more good in this world, he says in the video. Very weird, when you consider he was accused by at least 12 people of sexual assault, not really sure what Kevin Spacey counts as good in the world. I know what you're thinking. Can he be serious? Most of us are thinking, you're not serious, but he contradicts us. I'm dead serious, he says, and it's not that hard. Trust me, the next time someone does something you don't like, sexual assault, you can go on the attack, but you can also hold your fire and do the unexpected. <laughs> you can kill them with kindness. And uh, that's a very weird statement to make. I think he's probably ruined a lot of people's lives uh, if the sexual assault allegations are true. This is very, very strange indeed. Now, I'm a Christian. I do believe in redemption. I do believe in forgiveness. I do believe everyone deserves a second chance. But with these cryptic videos that Kevin Spacey keeps making, he seems to, by making them, imply that he is guilty rather than innocent. Uh, because I think if he was really, truly innocent, he'd just kind of keep a nice low profile, wait for things to die down, and perhaps move on with his life in the best way he deemed possible. But this is just really weird and strange, and it's kind of creepy too. But the biggest overall question I have, having watched this video, is Kevin, how is it possible after fighting all those legal battles, having to pay all those lawyers, going to a sexual rehabilitation clinic that allegedly costs $35,000 a month, how is it possible after all that that you can still afford such a massive fireplace? All I have is a lighter in my pocket and you have that massive fireplace. Ugh, life just isn't fair.